Hello and welcome to version 1.7 of Freshvine. We have a new interface, new kind of freshen up feel and look to the site. Let me log in here real quick and I'll give you a look around inside. There's a couple notable changes that we want to make sure that you guys are aware of. Uh, first of all is uh, the presence of notifications. Notifications are one of the big updates here in this version along with the, the updated interface. Uh, here's an example of an email that a, that a group leader would get shortly after their group starts and they could just click this button right here and it'll actually take them right to the page where they can take attendance for that particular event. It's pretty, pretty slick. Um, again, a list of all those different notices that we currently have built into the system is available over at our status blog. Uh, now let me just show you a little bit about this new, new uh, updated interface. All the same functionality is there. We still have the same five categories across the top. Obviously, uh, depending on the access that you have, you may or may not see each of these categories, but by clicking on uh, the icons, the different content will load in the secondary navigation here, allowing you to go and view the member roster. Uh, in this case, uh, we have a quick member search, so you could type in someone's name and uh, quickly pull up their profile and go right to view their profile. Uh, we have, um, this is for the user accounts. Um, you have a quick link to go edit and log out. This icon here will also cause you to log out. Uh, as we scroll down, you'll see that the header actually stays with us. And by mousing over, you can quickly say, oh, that's right, I wanna go to see the groups. And it'll take you back to the top of the page and allow you to navigate uh, that menu. At the very bottom, we updated the footer as well. Again, same information that was there. We added some social media links, uh, an icon here that you can click to log out. Uh, again, the, the kind of new branding here with the Freshvine uh, logo and link there. Um, otherwise, we updated the uh, notifications piece. I uh, showed you the email notice. Those same notices actually appear right here at this, this uh, exclamation point drop down menu. So anything that's new uh, will be at the top and it's, it'll be colored and the, you see now the icon's actually grayed out versus before when it was red. Uh, that just kind of lets you know that there's something new that you can go bring attention to. Uh, and again, just like an email, you can click on this and it'll take you right to that page uh, where you're able to go and, and enter attendance. So uh, one other kind of big update in this version is we updated our address system a little bit. So let me go and show you by uh, editing a profile page here. All right. so. Couple updates to the address piece. One, address syncing is now a part of it. So where we see a house with a plus sign, uh, it will automatically sync the home address between those between those members. Uh, up here too, you'll notice um, behind the scenes we did a little bit of work here, and so we go and we clear this out. Um, I can put the zip code from where I went to college in here. <coughs> and if we hit update member, what it'll do is see I don't have a city or state in here. And when it loads back up, you see we have a city and a state loaded. So uh, we're doing a little bit of work behind the scenes, kind of verifying addresses. Uh, we won't do anything with this, uh, these top two rows here. We won't change any of that information, but we will verify the city, state, and zip code. So uh, kind of a really nice feature. And like I said, if we were to go and look at uh, Jordan or Rob's profile here, you'll now see that their address is also in Menominee. Pretty great, pretty uh, substantial update. Again, a lot of the work we did on this one was behind the scenes, but I uh, hope you enjoy it. If you want to see the full details, uh, please check out our status blog at status.1905.com.